I'm Rob Zeller. I'm a figurative painter and I'm a part of this show and I get the privilege to interview Matt Rhoda and ask him about his piece right here. And Matt, um, the Angel of the Hearth, the question I have about it, the first thing I look at it is when I was a kid I loved looking at Grimm's fairy tales and Gulliver's travels and things like that, these great mythos things. When I look at this I see sort of that sweeping panoramic. Um, so do you want to talk about that with this piece? Sure. Uh, the, the piece itself was inspired by Max Ernst's painting, also more or less by the same name, Angel of the Hearth. Had a had a large pastoral scene with a monster jumping over the top of it. It was a, it was a metaphor for war, for World War II. Um, I liked the fact that he had created such a monster with no real attachment to anything cultural. In other words, there was nothing recognizable about the image, the figure that he had done. Um, and I, I liked the combination of this big shadowy figure against a, a large green pastoral scene. And that was something that I was looking to capture in mind. So the idea of this, this large swooping field, that's maybe something like what you, you, you as you referenced, Grimm's fairy tales, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that is just to offset the darkness passing across it, right? This is a contrast. I mean, I, I, I like the classic landscapes that you see a lot of times where they look very open and wide and grand and, and inviting. And so I wanted to do something as well that was almost like a plague leaping across such a beautiful scene um, and the contrast and to use only elements that were non-referential, non, you know, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't have a, a specific cultural significance, they are more ambivalent than that. Uh, those are how I came to, I think, the elements that were into the piece. Yeah. Yeah. And do you want to talk at all about um, um, the spectacle, the spectacle of the blood sacrifice or purification? Yeah, yeah. Well, the one, like I said, the one influence of the piece was Max Ernst's Angel of the Hearth piece. And I combined that with uh, an image that references this down here is a bit referential to the birth of Venus, right? But a woman, a beautiful woman, representing beauty coming out of a, of a shell. This is out of a flower. And again, there's, there's elements of beauty in there. And she, uh, what, what struck me about it, what I was looking for, was a way to make something about that, maybe a contrast, maybe a compliment to it. The blood is, is, like, a, is like a baptism, right? So as if this woman that represents beauty, this gorgeous thing coming out of a flower, is being mixed with something violent, right? That combination of opposites, I, I, I thought, gave the, the image, the, the figures in it a little more power and weight. That's, you know, that effect, that, that emotional effect, combining blood, sort of staining a flower and something beautiful. Yeah. It really gets to the, the, the heart of the piece, yeah. What I see in this piece that's so interesting, besides the great diagonal power, the decomposition, is the juxtaposition of that sweeping figure, the spectacle of the blood, and the juxtaposition of the violence of these oncoming tigers. And how does that narrative fit in with what you were trying to say, the tigers le leering at the birth of Venus? Right. Uh, again, I, the whole piece is, is really a lot about combining these, these different elements of things that are beautiful and very inviting with a violence or something foreboding overshadowing it, you know. Um, and that's really, and that really gets to the heart. It, 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 like Max Ernst's piece was, a, was about war and, 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 and was, mine isn't so much about that specifically but it's more about the passing of a shadow over something, right, over this beautiful landscape. It's more gener uh, general. What it, uh, something that, that comes out, especially when you get into this area, is the idea also more like the passing of time. It's less about the on like oncoming war or plague or famine, but it's more uh, uh, about things dying as, as time passes. And you have something very green, lush fields, but when you get to the edge of the piece, the trees are dying, the landscape's turning orange. It's even also almost passing of seasons as well, in a lot of ways. You know. I was thinking of the sixth seal when I was looking at it. 
Right, Ingmar Bergman's film, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really Seven does, seal, yeah. that dance of death Ingmar Bergman talks right, about yeah. in the landscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.